if this was a mom and pop restaurant uh, tucked away in a tiny little brownstone on the Lower East Side, even the New York Times probably would have gone in and ignored it because why write a bad review? It serves no one. If you don't want people to go, just don't talk about it, right? The exception to that rule, and uh, you know, look, I reviewed restaurants and magazines and newspapers for a decade. The exception to that rule is when someone comes into the marketplace jumping up and down saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. More important is that culturally, Guy Fieri is probably the most important and the most polarizing figure in the food scene. He is one of the most powerful people in the food business. Like it or not, tons of people watch his show, advertisers flock to him. He is, like Paula Deen, a huge, huge star. So what they do and what they say is much more important than what, you know, uh, poor schmucks on, you know, uh, cable channels like myself think, or some of the other people on Food Network. I mean, these, Guy Fieri is a huge mega empire. So when he does a 500 seat restaurant in Times Square, New York City, the most important food city in the world, you are saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. And I, I wrote in my blog today on uh, mspmag.com that the not only is Wells obligated to review it, uh, he, he owes us that because so many millions of people out there are gonna say, hey, I should, when I'm in New York, I should go there. The role of dining critic is twofold. Number one, to canvas the restaurant scene and to tell us ahead of time so we can figure out where to spend our money, what's good, what's bad. But the New York Times dining critic is someone who's a custodian of food culture. He has to write that review, and I think he did a brilliant job of it, and I thought that he did it in a way that we all would have, in the sense that you you, you shake your head. Well, what's he going to do, a traditional review like he did of Le Bernardin? When it reopened, was saying, oh, this course was... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised at the fallout, though, because everyone makes fun of Guy, and then when someone does so publicly, everyone has to rush to his aid. I've been really consistent. He's a friend of mine. I like him. He's a great dude. Um, he's a great dad. He's a great husband. And he won a contest on Food Network and as that guy you see on TV. He has to be that way.